Hello, beautiful people. I am Keandra Jones, class of 2019. Tonight's topic is Courage and Creativity, the Art of Taking Risk. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce Emmy Award-winning producer and Call Sheets to Cocktails founder, Tony Bullock, class of 20, 2008. Tony Award-winning producer and entrepreneur, Eric Kuhn, class of 2009. And reality TV personality, entrepreneur, and CEO of Sirhan, Sirhan, Ryan Sirhan, class of 2006. What? does it feel like to be in such a terrifying space where you really don't know what's next because something is so new, but you have such a strong feeling about it? At the end of the day, we're all storytellers and no matter sort of what platform you're on and, and what you're doing, um, you're just trying to connect with an audience um, and tell a story and it could potentially work or it could potentially not. And so, um, so I think, you know, you always try something and it's always a little bit scary, but you always have to adjust accordingly and, uh, and not be too scared about it. Stop thinking about the worst that can happen and really focus on what's the greatest that can happen. I think you increase your chances of success. It doesn't mean anything's going to work out but it means you're going into uncharted territories with the right energy and the right mindset, which is like 85% of the battle. This is an industry of no. Everybody's gonna tell you no for one reason or another. They're scared, it's a risk, it's money, it's whatever it may be. But if you really believe in the project or something you're passionate about it, just keep doing it whether you meet people or not, it's gonna get done. You know it will get done. And I feel like when I look back at a lot of no's in my life, it's been lessons. I had to learn real quick, like how to build muscle memory for getting over rejection and loss. Mm -hmm. And I learned um, the power of the 30 day rule, just the act of telling myself in 30 days, I'm going to feel better about what just happened right now lets you breathe so much easier. Um, scheduling unstructured time is important also. Um, if you're a creative, because I think the best ideas happen when you're not racing from place to place, when you're not putting on fire to fire, right. and when you just sort of can wander. And I think you come up with your best ideas when you think you're turned off, right? That's like why we all come up with ideas in the shower, because we don't, we don't go into the shower to brainstorm. You know, like you go to a conference room or a Zoom, and you're like, all right, guys, let's brainstorm ideas. Think hard. But then you know, you wake up in the middle of the night, you're like, oh my God, get a pen. That's the genius idea because you turn your mind off or you're in the shower or you're at the gym. Um, so I think it is important to find those moments of off because your brain will actually turn on the most um, when you least expect it. Life throws you a lot of no's, especially when you want to be creative. Um, and they also tell you to go be an investment banker or be a lawyer. And you have to just sort of trust your gut and know that all of that is going to fall into place because you are doing what five-year-old Eric loved. As producers, we're unspoken teachers. It really, I felt like I was, you know, the bridge to connect people's stories to people at home, to give them a spotlight, to tell their stories. And I really felt like at that moment, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. Thank you, Eric, Ryan, and Tony for your insights. It was very enjoyable. And, um, and um, I have a lot to take away from this.